Hello everybody, I am Landaman93 of the Magic Online Society presenting to you today Calibrated Blast Combo in Modern. So what is the deal with this deck? We mostly have lands and nothing else but really big creatures. Well, it is all centered around the card Calibrated Blast, which reads, you know, we I'm not going to read it for you, but basically we flip over cards from our deck until we hit something that is not a land, and then we deal damage to our opponent equal to that card's mana value. Because of this, you know, we have cards with a very high ma converted the mana cost, rather, mana value. I'm still not completely used to it. Such as Emrakul, Autothon Worm, and Scion of Draco. Now, you might notice, yes, we do not kill them in one shot. We have to do it at least twice. Um, maybe we'll get lucky and they're on Death Shadow, then we only have to do it once, probably. But, yes, usually we'll have to do it at least twice. Now, because of the nature of the deck, we can't really run much, but we do have some tools in our land base, such as Blast Zone to get rid of very annoying creatures like the Ragavan, Oseju that keeps our very important Calibrated Blast from being countered, as well as some cards to cycle, so you know we can get closer to that Blast, or Throw of Chaos, which cal uh, always cascades into Calibrated Blast, Gemstone Caverns is a way to ramp us up and get us going. Just a cycling land. Mishra's Factory, uh, just a man land to basically try and finish off our opponent, or of course defend ourselves against the Ragavan Menace. Some basic mountains for fun, I suppose, and to fetch. Radiant Fountain to heal ourselves versus aggressive decks, such as Burn, and I guess kind of Hammer Time. Uh, scavenger Grounds as Graveyard Hate. Sun Scorched Desert as. Ah, yes. If they just have one last sliver of health, bam! There it goes. And we've also got two Temples of Epiphany. Round is out. Uh, basically, just allowing us a little digging power to hopefully get what we want to have. Anyway, in the sideboard, we have. Some more Boseju's for those control matchups. Uh, consigned to Oblivion, which actually really helps us out in matchups where we need to be more interactive. Nefalia Academy, which basically keeps us from getting messed up by decks like Jund. It just lets us put a card back on top of our deck instead of discarding it, which is fantastic. And Rough and Tumble which is a classic in Legacy, used against decks such as Elves. Um, basically, this just lets us clear out the board. And the common theme with all of these cards is that they have a very high mana value because we have to add the mana value from both sides of each card. So this one's eight. So eight damage is still respectable. And as, as long as we hit one of our big boys here, it will still do a ton of damage, or enough damage to finish them off if we follow up this with this, for example. Karuga the Macro Sage is also here because she is able to be cast, you know, late in the game, potentially, if we're in a bit of a grind, you know. And essentially, it's sort of, she's sort of here for fun. Now, that's the deck, I suppose. Not too much going on. Uh, arguably even simpler than Burn. I hope you enjoy our battles in the league. Alright, round one against Pastel Zero. They're the zeroth Pastel. We will show them our very nice and flubby companion. And oh, it looks like they are using the Sky Noodle themselves, so this is more of a Pokemon battle than anything. So, I think that we want to mulligan until we have a hand that can play either Throws of Chaos or um, Calibrated Blast. We know that, for the most part, we are... Ooh, Gemstone Caverns, that's really nice to ramp us. I'm kind of feeling this, but it's also... Seven cards out of the 54 cards in our deck that are the cards that we want to use. I think I'm going to mulligan again, to be honest. Okay, excellent, fantastic. All right, I will keep five of these. Wow, is this turn... 
Oh. Actually, I don't know if this is turn one or turn two. Turn two? Turn one? Oh, I am the starting player. Blah. Derp. Okay. Um, I suppose Gemstone and Indafa. Yeah. Because I want to be able to cycle for Cotton Cave. And yeah, we don't need any more land. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get this Mishra's Factory going so we can begin a beatdown, potentially. The only problem with Mishra's Factory, of course, is if they uh, just kill it. <laughs> that would be kind of sad. But it gives us something to do, since we are still waiting for the mana to cast Calibrated Blast. Are they... Hmm. What are they doing? Oh, cra oh yeah, okay. Wow, that's interesting. An 80-card Crashing Footfalls deck. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to conceal things about the deck. Just fetch four mountain. Um, here we go. Activate Mishra's Factory. And then on the attack. Honestly, with a single calibrated blast now, we kill them as long as it hits either Autothon Worm, which regretfully we just drew, or Emrakul. If we get at least Autothon Worm or Emrakul, we are the winner. So I really hope that happens, and it will be really great and fun and really awesome. Um, I'll be very pumped and, and happy. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Time to... Ooh, ah, oh, fantastic. Mm, le fantastique. Yes, that is what we're looking for. All right, time to blast him. Boom! <laughs> Boom! Uh, maybe I should have done this on their turn. No, I just realized, yes. Oh, I'm I'm a fool. I just realized it, it is an instant. It is an instant. Yes, I It's just a single card. Uh, dang it. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. We're fine. If we can if we can get another land, which is not a very big ask with this deck, we can then play Throws of Chaos. Try to chaosify them. And what did they exile? Okay, they excelled Brazen B. That's fine. So I'm guessing they're going to Cascade now. What a strange deck. I wonder why it's 80 cards. Maybe it's both Living End and Crashing Footfalls. I've seen a deck like that before. It was pretty interesting. But of course, if you get... Oh, 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 that's not good. That's really bad. Yeah, we can't cascade with Throws of Chaos anymore. Wow, that that is terrible. Um, yeah, that's really depressing. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think... Activate this. And maybe Spin to Fairy. Maybe... Mm, I don't know. I hope they just down tick to Fairy for a cantrip. But I feel like they're not going to do that, especially since I'm signaling to them that I don't like this guy. Yeah, that's really... Ah, whew, that's really unfortunate. That's really, really unfortunate. They're crashing with their footfalls. The other crummy thing here is that... No, oh, they're just upticking him. The other crummy thing is that... um, What was I going to say? There's something lame about this. This is what, basically what I'm saying. That That's really unfortunate that I screwed up. It is such a tiny, tiny way to make a mistake, but it kind of ruined me. I, I just I just didn't realize that it was an instant speed card until now, after I cast it, basically. That is going to keep us from having that problem ever again, though, at least. So, let's see. Hmm. They might... Stomp Mishra's Factory, which would be... Eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I think I'm just going to go for another swing at Teferi. And I'm going to put uh, Giga uh, not Gigantha, um, Karuga in my hand. I'm guessing they're going to stomp Mishra's Factory. But if they do it now, I can protect Mishra's Factory. However, if I protect Mishra's Factory, then I won't have the mana to put Karug in my hand. But yeah, they're going to wait until last minute here so that they kill it for sure. Yep, here we go. Here, uh, it's not good. Okay. 
That's fine. I will use a wooded foothills. And we need mana to cast Karuga. Karuga is like blue and stuff, so definitely want steam vents. I'm going to put her into our hand. Yomp. And that's all she wrote. And they are going to get their freaking rhinos now, which is really not so nice. If we can get a... Yeah, if we can get another calibrated blast, we are in good shape. If we can't, then we are in trouble. Um, even as thick as Karuga is, she, she can't block these rhinos. Ugh. I just feel so... I really don't feel great about not playing around Force of Negation. I don't... It's like not something I do. Okay, well at least we get to have some health back. Here we go. Uh, I guess it doesn't completely matter. They don't have... They have met up for Counterspell, but they don't want to cascade into that, so... That's not going to be in their deck. Karuga, go! I choose you. Alright. Big Blumpy. My big blubby friend. Uh, yeah, Throws of Chaos would be sweet. I mean, not Throws of Chaos. I mean, this Teferi came the turn before I was able to Throws. I guess you could say I threw the game. But um, I, I really hope not, but I think I did. Like, every single, like, most mistakes I make is just always, 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 I realize right after I do them. Alright, uh, so we are dead next turn unless I can top deck that card. So let's pray to the magic gods, as the streamers like to say, and hope for the best. Uh, we live one more turn. One more turn. One more turn, unless they have another removal spell, but, you know, this is plain to our outs, like we should have been the whole time, you know. Here we go. So I'm going to block Fury with Mish's Factory, since he doesn't have Trample. He'll be at one life. And they'll need a Prismary Command, or... I mean, basically any removal will keep us from winning, or keep us from having any chance of winning. So here we go. And here comes the removal, and here comes my concede, concede button, potentially. Are you going to do it? Okay, yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. Well, no. Uh, wait, hold on, I'm dumb. Am I dumb? No, I'm not dumb, because it has to tap. It has to tap, so I wouldn't be able to block anyway. Okay. I was afraid I messed up again. Okay. No problem. So I think we need these. And I think we want not this. This does nothing, unfortunately. Um, this is pretty sweet, actually. This can help us a lot. So I'm going to put these in. It's three bus stages, four things. And I think what we'll get rid of... Uh, they have Teferi in their deck, but I kind of feel like we want the Throws of Chaos, honestly. Um, and this is non-land permanent, which allows us to bounce to Fairy, which makes it even more compelling to keep this in the deck. Um, I think ugh, Blast Zone is not useful because it begins at 1, so we can't get rid of those pesky rhinos. Uh, I think Scavenger Grounds is pretty useless. Uh, I'm just going to put those up here because I can't scroll. <laughs> There's so many lands in this deck, I can't do what I usually do, which is uh, stick stuff here and then... You know, board it all out at the same time. Um, let's see, what else is not so great? Definitely want to keep our gemstone caverns. I think the sun scorched deserts are a little mediocre. And yes, yeah, so like decks with tons of land are like the only decks that I would say boarding out land is fine. Like, and those decks basically lands in Legacy and this. I've seen sometimes they board out a land in Delver as well. Okay, yeah, uh, but I think usually, like, definitely, like, any landy deck, it's pretty safe. Um, we need to get rid of two more things. I think 
Uh, we do draw one of these. I think two sign up Dracos are strictly worse than the Autothon Worms. Although this does decrease our chances slightly, but it's not bad because now we have several new cards that will slam our opponent for 8 damage if we get to Calibrated Blast with it. So trimming some of those down I think is pretty uh, logistical. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go for... Uh, wait. Wait. Huh? Oh, wait, they, they just let me go first. Uh, I think they did it because of Gemstone Cavern. Maybe I made a mistake by letting them do... But, uh, I don't know. I don't know if, like, because when you say, ah, oh, I'm going to go second, you bank on a hand with Gemstone Caverns. If you don't get that hand, then you're kind of in trouble. There's our Calibre... Oh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to put a Forgotten Cave. I think just two Forgotten Caves. Yeah. I think just two Forgotten Caves. And we're going to play Mishra. We're going to lead with uh, Mishra's Factory, similar to before. Because we want to get some extra damage in. It all matters a whole lot more than we know, you know? So there we go. Uh, I just realized these both come in tapped, though, but it doesn't matter, because if we played... Well, I mean, if we get it... There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> now we're good. So hopefully they don't use that one card that's only one mana. Um, dead and gone. If they use dead and gone, we are in big, big... No, 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 don't be dead and gone. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, whew. If that was dead and gone, we would have been... We would have been dead and gone. Let me tell you, that would not have been good. So I'm going to Calibrated Blast on their upkeep. Um, unlike last time, because now I know it's an instant. Here we go. All right. Yeah. yeah on their upkeep, because they don't use any counter magic other than... Um, for some negation, and they only have two lands up for mana, so we should be good to go. So here we go, please. All right. Kia. Target you, buddy. Three damage. Oh no. What did I? What? I I cascaded into another calibrated blast. That, that is very sad. That is very sad. Yep, yep. What are the odds? Oh, that is depressing. Well, that just happened, everyone. So hopefully... Hmm. I don't know if I want to... I'm not going to activate Mishra's Factory again. I think it is too risky. We are going to first use Boseju here. The reason why is because we want it untapped for when we flash back next turn. Alright. They didn't play Teferi. Thank the gods. They're probably going to Violent Outburst, yep, to do the thing with the Rhino people. I'm going to consign one of their Rhinos to Oblivion. Although they can tap out on their turn to force a negation. So it is basically a question of... What do I think they have? And I think I think it's just best to do it on their turn. Because at least it will tap them out so that they're not able to Hmm. Yeah, it will tap Oh, hold on a second. We also have to No, we don't have to think about Teferi, it's fine. Yeah, we don't have to think about Teferi. So we're gonna consign one of them. Boom! Oblivion. Wait, whoops. Why not? Blue, dude. There we go. Bam. Take that. We can sign one of them to Oblivion and beyond. And hey, they didn't counter it. So I'm guessing they have Teferi or something, which kind of sucks, but... Or maybe just uh, some other cascady thing. Yeah, there we go. Ardent Plea, that is fascinating. Well, they might be dead now. Um, I don't think that they realize that Boshseju is going to protect our spell. It, um, but we are dead next turn if this doesn't work, so here we go. Yeah, this has to be an auto thon worm or a um 
I, I don't know if I want to cycle the Forgotten Cave. Because if I do that, I might draw the thing that we want to cascade into. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty spooky. Um, I'm not going to cycle it. I mean, the chance of drawing land is a lot higher, but just the, like, it gives us an X. Yeah, see, see? Look at that, right there, right there. We could have won if we didn't draw that. Um, if, I mean, it doesn't really mean much, I guess, because we just drew it anyway, but you know, if it was the second card, right, then that would have been a big misplay. So that would be really sad. So hopefully, hopefully we don't get super unlucky again. Please, Calibrated Blast, destroy my opponent. Autothon Worm! Woo! We win! Ha <laughs> ha! Yay! Oh, wasn't that fantastic? I am very happy. Because, oh... Top deck in that Emrakul made me think that we were totally hosed, but BAM! We weren't. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe get rid of some of the gemstone caverns. Yeah, because now they get to pick. And then put back the signs of Draco. And if you're concerned about our land count getting low, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I think we're fine. Um, yeah, we're definitely fine. Alright, submit again, and let us pray. Let us pray to the gods of chaos and blasting. So, oh, they chose to play first. Ooh, maybe we should have kept those gemstone caverns. Ah, we can't read our opponent's mind, though, right? They let us be on the play last time. So, or maybe that was me. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we're going to mulligan this because it doesn't have either throws or the other thing. Ooh, this does have gemstone caverns. That is very good, but yeah. Okay, there's our blast and there's a... Ooh, this is goody-goody. I love it. So we're going to get Emrakul away and what else? Consign. I think this is just so good. I want the double red mana for Calibrated Blast. Hmm. This is this is not an easy decision. I think, you know what? I'll just get rid of one of the Wooded Foothills. I'll just get rid of one of them, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay. And I'll lead off with Boseju so that it will be untapped for when we need it. Um, actually, maybe I should do Mishra's so I can get in. But it really depends on their uh, land situation. They just suspended a footfall, so... Oh! Double Factory. Ooh! Double Factory. That's kind of sweet. Um, okay. Psh, psh, psh. So we can add mana with this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna Mishra's Factory. Because we don't kill anyway unless we do enough damage. So I'm just gonna Mishra's Factory. And depending on what they do next turn, I'm either going to attack with it or just go Seiju. Stomping Ground, are, the, are they shocking it? No, they're not. Okay. So I can get a nice swing in with Mishra's now, which is very good. Um, although it doesn't set us up for next turn with Boseju. So I think I'd rather just play Boseju. Because they're they are definitely going to counter this if they can. They're going to have three mana next turn. Um, let's see here. Next turn they can Cascade too. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not easy. I think I'm just going to play this Boseju and pass. Although, the, the window for us hitting with Mishra's Factoring is getting narrower. Um, so I, I don't know. Alright. So there we go. Guessing they're going to do something. 
They can't. No, wait, yeah, they can because they can fetch. I'm guessing they're going to Violent Outburst right now. Four. Hold on, let's see. Ice. Oh, that's really bad. That's pretty terrible. Um. Well, now this reduces this to just only dead and gone. So as long as they don't have dead and gone, we should be okay. Actually, we're fine if they do dead and gone because we can at least tap this to bu buff it and it will be out of range. So I'm going to play the other Mishra's Factory. Not even going to get that red mana yet. We're going to play this other Mishra's Factory so that we can activate it in response to Dead and Gone to save our Mishra's Factory here. And I'm not even going to pump it. I'm not even going to pump it, like, just for more damage because they can just in response Dead and Gone us, which would be a huge problem. We're not going to let that happen. So we're doing two there. They have two more turns on their Crashing Footfalls, which is very good. Um, and they, yeah, they hurt themselves with that, which is fantastic. Okay, what are they going to do? Okay, Ketriad, no problem. All right, so they have one more turn until the Rhinos come down. And we have a very high chance of killing them. Oh, no. <gasps> no! That's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. That's not good at all. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. That is really sucky. Now we have to bank on them just not... Well, what am I saying? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, we have to basically bank on them just... I'm just going to fetch for right now because it kind of doesn't matter. We have to bank on them not having the thing. The force of negation thing. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna hard cast it on us, but we'll see what happens. We can try to calibrate a blast right now, and it will force them. Like, what is the higher possibility? I think there's several blue cards in this deck. I think either way is not really, you know, super duper guaranteed to work. So let's just try this. At the very least, we get them tapped out. Please. Ugh. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, so that was the other card that I was expecting. They boarded those in to deal with this. So, but see, the thing is, you don't know which one they have. You don't know if they have Force Negation or Mystical Dispute. Ah, uh, we're gonna die soon, I think. <sighs> we're gonna be down to 11. Let me take 8 the next turn. 3. We can maybe, we can still maybe make this. We can maybe still make this. It really depends on what we do here. Or what we're able to get. If we can top deck the Throws of Chaos. Oh, those are not good top decks. I'm going to try to fix our top decks with the Temple. Okay. Nope, I don't want that. Let's put that on the bottom. Okay. Whew, here we go. Let's hope that we can resolve our Consign to Oblivion and bounce one of the Rhino tokens so that we can have another shot at blasting our opponent next turn. Well, next next turn. On their upkeep. Uh, you know? Alright, so here we go. On their upkeep. To minimize the chance that they get the right uh that they uh draw into a counter spell oh boy oh boy that's oh. okay so that's two counter spells out of the hand so it is pretty reasonably likely that we should be able to flash back this calibrate blast on their no we're dead that's right yeah we're dead oh man Ugh. dang it well maybe they'll screw up let's see Maybe they'll screw up. Maybe they'll forget about doing something. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, we're dead. 4 a 12 That is death. Alright. Well, that was not very great. But, you know, 
We did take a game off of them. If I didn't mess up that first one, we might have been able to win. Um, yeah, it really depends. I forgot if they had three mana or not. We were on the play. No, they had two mana, so... Yeah, it would have resolved if we did it on their upkeep. Dang it. Oh well, that's fine. Lessons learned. Let's go in swinging to the next match. Alright everybody, welcome to round two of our modern league with Calibrated Blast. And Karuga is our Pokemon, and we are the trainers, and they have Lures of the Dream Den, which means that they are going to mess with our hand, probably. This has Calibrate. This is a fantastic hand, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to play the Gemstone Mines, exiling the Autothon Worm, because it is useless. I mean, now that it is in our hand. So, we will see what happens. Ooh, no! Wow! Wow, no land or anything! Amazing! Temple of Epiphany, to give ourselves an epiphany about what is going on here. Uh, Forgotten Cave, no thank you. I think, yeah, no thanks. Cool. Super awesome, just skip their whole turn and they just don't do anything and... This is look- oh, and it's like Infect or something? Oh no, it's um Hammer Time! So we are very, very favored here. Oh yeah, we are flavored and favored. We are ready to go ham. So here we go. We need to stop drawing these. Seriously. Um, so here comes the desert and we're gonna ping them for one. Bam! And now we are going to Calibrated Blast. It's gonna be a blast! Um, Oh, just this, these draws. I I truly am never lucky. Let me tell you, I the most silly things happen to me all the time. Um, here we go. How much damage was that? Oh wow. Well, that was fantastic. Another Emmer cool. Very good. So now, unless we reveal another calibrated blast, we win this game. We need another red source. That is our major issue. Um, yeah, we really need. It. Oh wait, no, we. <laughs> I forget about how insanely awesome this land is. It's just rainbow. It's, it's the best. And now, ooh, ah. Uh, well, if it's, I, oh, pfft. yep, Shadow Spear is a slight problem. It will take us out of killing them with the, um, ooh, very nice. Killing them with the Throws of Chaos. I don't think we want this. Oh, I think we do. I think we do because a Radiant Fountain is not an Autothon Worm. A Radiant Fountain is not an Emrakul. And if we draw that instead of one of those, that's great. I know it's not a Calibrated Blast, but we already have a Blast in our board, or in our uh, yard. So it's fine. Um, Pure Still Hambonio. They're going to Hambone us to death. It's really kind of scary. Oh, ooh, eh. All right, all right. So it's all coming down to this. It's all coming down to basically calibrating the blast and getting anything but the blast itself. So here we go. So we're gonna play that Radiant Fountain, heal ourselves up a little bit. It gives us uh, no more turns. We're dead next turn anyway. So we're just gonna play it for fun. Actually, maybe, yeah, we're just going to play it for fun, I guess. Because, actually, you know what, I think I'll, no, I think I'll hide the Mishra's Factory. Yeah, I'll hide the Mishra's Factory. Okay, here we go. Play the Radiant Fountain. Shushing. And we're going to flash back our Blast of Doom. And hopefully send our opponent's straight to the underworld boom and it was scion of draco Man, yeah we are so powerful we are the strongest people in the world we are gonna win they are not very happy about how that went um okay so um sideboard time i think the consignment to oblivion very good um i don't 
Oh, yes. Actually, yes. Although it doesn't kill the thing with the hammer, so I'm thinking maybe kind of no, actually. Yeah, it doesn't kill the thing with the hammer. And I think Nefalia Academy is going to be very useful because they're going to use Thoughtseize now. Because they had a concealed courtyard, so they're the version that splashes black. Um, I don't know if they're going to let us be on the, uh, the play. They might actually do that. I know Scavenger Grounds is useless. Uh, and Doseju is also useless. So four more cards to go. Let's see. I think the deserts, yeah, that has been real. It increased our probability of winning by allowing the Throws of Chaos to also be a kill card. Uh, let's see here. I think most of these are pretty useful. Uh, oh yes, and I made a slight misplay. I could have put Karuga into my hand, but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. They would have... Um, Oh, I don't know. No, that would have definitely... Well, no, I couldn't have cast her anyway, so it's fine. I would rather flashback Calibrated Blast than uh, play Karuga for sure. Let's see. What else can I get rid of? I think the Throws of Chaos is just important for the redundancy. Maybe an Indotha Shrine, maybe. And then I'm gonna get rid of some Scions. And I'm gonna cut, I'm, I'm not gonna do all of these consigns, I'm just gonna do three. Cause I don't want to shave more than two of our big dudes. And I think the way we're doing this is already good enough. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay, yeah, this should work out. Let's go, let's do it. Let's win. Now their deck, honestly, it truly does not have many uh, tools to handle us. They do choose to play first, so it's very good that I, yeah, I did not board out any of the gemstone caverns. Hey, and there we go. Woo! Yes, this is fantastic. The only bad thing is if they, but if they thought sees it, even if they thought sees it, we are okay. Because we can just flash it back two turns later, and it's fine. Everything's fine. It's fantastic. And we can play Blast Zone 2 to delete their creatures. That's fantastic. This is, very, this is super good. This is really, really good. They got the Sigarda's Aid. That is a problem. We are not going to let it stick around for too long. Um, well, at least we're going to do what we can to deal with it. So this turn, we are just going to get... Uh, Double Sun Scorch down to 17. I don't think it matters that much. I think I'm just going to play the Bloodstained Mire to thin the deck so that we might be able to get another Calibrated Blast. Or a Throws of Chaos. I know it also increases the chance we draw a big boy, but that's just how the game works, you know? You have to pick your boys. Oh! Yes! Yes! We win! I am so happy. I am so happy. I am so happy right now. Oh my god, we did it. We did it, even though we didn't really do it, but we oh, we were going to do it anyway. Look at that. Boom. And then what about the next one? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it would have been amazing. It would have been amazing. Oh, yeah, we had it. We had them. Fantastic. Game two in the books. 2-0. They could not handle our power. Meet me again for round three. Yes. I'm very pumped now. All right, welcome everyone to round three of our amazing Calibrated Blast deck. Um, I think if I go on the draw, I think it is not... I don't think it's... We want to be on the play. We want to be on the play, I think. Because they are down... Oh, there it is, Throws of Chaos. It is kind of... It's a little sus, because it is four mana... But they don't have a companion of Luris, so we know that we're not they're not on a Thought Seize deck. They could be on the Rhino deck, which is a problem. I I actually don't know if I want to keep this anymore. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it. Let's let's try it. 
throws a chaos. It's basically calibrated blast number to num numero dos, you know. Oh, thank you. Yes, you too. I. Yes, I will plug us. I will plug us. I will. Pl I'll plug us right now. We are the magic. All right, there we go. I I have plugged. Now Bobo is very happy. Now I'm gonna yield my turn, and we're just gonna go, and everything's gonna be good. Oh ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho! Whoa! Wow, that 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 is something. That that's woo, okay. Um, mm, need double red, so I will play one of these. I know it might be silly that I'm being super serious about playing this deck that's, you know, funny, fun, fun, but we could have been potentially 2-0 right now if I didn't screw up that one time. Um, well, there's the strong man, so I don't know. We might get strong man here, but maybe it'll be okay. So, all right, we're going to cycle the Forgotten Cave. Pray that it is a... Hmm, I'm not going to reveal that. I don't want them to know... Oh, -ho! better lucky than good. Do, 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 do. And now we're going to heal. And now we're going to say, bam, 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 bam. And oh, oh, yes, draw your card. It's, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not paying for that. You can, you can go ahead and do it. I also think it's hilarious that Esper Senel, he's like so strong looking. And he's just a 1-1. One -one. I always found that weird. Like... A uh, one one is also a squirrel, you know. Like, what? oh, I revealed Emrakul! Yay! I <laughs> just say yes. <laughs> ah, very good, very good. Yeah, we're doing a great job, and Throws of Chaos is gonna come down and make twins weep, unless we can uh, unless we calibrate a throws or a calibrate. So hopefully we don't do either of those things. All right, here we go. They're tapping for three. What could it be? No, they're gonna go to land. Mm, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. That takes us off of double red for flashing back calibrated last. We are still in the game for a throws of chaos though, and of course we can always top deck another calibrated blast. But all right, so this is a double red source that is not um, vindicatable. So I think. Actually, I can just... No, 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 no. Because I want this to survive. Um, yes, I think I will just play another... Yeah, a Radiant Fountain. And hope that they don't have another Vindicate. Because even if they don't Vindicate our Red Source, uh, it's going to hurt, you know? It's going to be pretty bad news bears for us. All right. One more go. One more shot. One more Kaboomal. And we... Are the winner oh, oh no oh, oh god please no please no please no what what is it uh, stoneforge mystic stoneforge no oh whoa oh no please don't mill an angel oh no please 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 uh, they milled Lyra at the very end of the mill uh, now we have to actually that doesn't really change anything never mind I, I shouldn't be sad about that. That doesn't actually change anything. Okay. Ha! <laughs> Better lucky than good. I guess we could just Throws of Chaos, um, but I think Calibrated Blast is the way to go here, so that's what I'm gonna do instead. So here we go. Uh, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna pay the one, too for the Esper Sentinel. We don't need to give them stuff that they don't need, you know? They don't need that card. Let's pay for it. Bam! Autothon Worm! You have been automatically autothoned in a marathon of doom. Yes! GG. Alright, here come the Thought Seizes, and here go our uh, Bosejus. Or Arbo Seiju and some other stuff that we don't really want. 
their deck doesn't seem to be hyper aggressive however i mean this this will help us like basically all the time but it it still doesn't seem hyper aggressive to me and i think just staying as condensed with our aggression as possible we can absolutely make it so i think i'm going to get in snafalias and that's it and i'm going to bring out boseju uh i think blast zone slows us down a lot and i mm, yeah i don't think we want it the very bad th oh yes i just realized if they have leyline of sanctity we will need to bounce it in order to win but um do we choose an opponent i think it's target it's any target yeah yeah it's any target uh okay so never mind we are gonna i mean i didn't see it though but if i do see it i automatically lose so I, yeah we're just gonna do this just in case it doesn't hurt our game plan that much uh one of these and one of those is still gonna knock them dead so it doesn't really matter um i think their deck is very removal heavy so i think mishra's factory is actually kind of not a, a no-go they're going to have stuff like sudden edict fatal push like whatever you can think of basically and it's just going to kill our stuff you know it's going to kill our dudes if we if we uh use dudes against them so i don't think the beatdown plan is for us against them we just need to board out one more card okay let's see uh radiant fountain maybe you know i think i think we can go down there because so the reason why i'm keeping in two of these though is because sometimes it is nice to just uh block a thing it, it can save our lives so i think being able to block the thing is worth it and we're going to keep that ability in not cutting any of these want to keep our aggression as consistent and uh fast as possible you know we want to really get them so i'm going to keep all that stuff in all right so here comes the karuga and this hand is not good at all we're going to mulligan and this oh, oh, oh this hand is great um i'm gonna keep it um let's see they can delete our stuff though but this does keep our six uh, six of our cards i don't think i'm gonna use mm, do i want to use both gemstone caverns one two three four that's not bad that's not bad but one two three four I won't i need to be able to yeah yeah yeah. no no no. i can't use both of these i only have six cards one two three four and then i have to play two lands i have six but that means i get rid of throws of chaos which is a no-go so i can't have that happen so we're just going to get rid of one of the gemstones but we will use the other gemstone on the forgotten kit oh i knew they were going to have this it's good that we boarded in that one card now we need to try to get it so Ooh, which one do I want to go for? That's ugh, that's really bad. Okay. Um, so we want to get rid of... It's not an easy choice. I think I'm just going to get rid of the mountain. Yeah. I think I'm just going to get rid of the mountain because... Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of the Dolph, actually. That mana is not super relevant to us in this game, other than casting Karuga, but we can get it other ways, like with two Steam Vents or something. Um, and of course this, I mean, I, I always forget this is Rainbow, which is super sweet. Not used to cards being that awesome. Alright, so here comes the Marsh Flats, and nothing! Good! We can Nefalia now, in safety. Very nice. So, yeah, our whole entire shtick now is just getting that consigned to oblivion. We need to be able to delete the ley line of sanctity, or just bounce it on their end step at some point, and then go ham, just spin the wheel on the donkey, you know, as they always say. So, there are four chances out of 53 to get it, which is pretty, it, it is pretty grim, but I think we should be able to. So here we go. Let's cycle and go for it. Ah, the marathon. All right. Uh, I'm going to get the mountain. Mm. We're going to go for it on their end step. We're going to cycle Forgotten Cave. 
and if it is the consigned to oblivion, bounce ley line, throws a chaos line. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, he's he, the, the opponent's reaping again, reaping again, trying to make us. Ah, whew, they did mill an angel. Excellent. So we're gonna cycle the forgotten cave. Here we go. No, that's not what we want. Oh, this is not good. Okay, what else does this do? Not really anything. Um, I was thinking we could do the calibrated blast to delete the creature, but I don't. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't. I think I'm gonna put Karuga into my hand. Yes, I think that's what I should do. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna play this Wooded Foothills for now. And like this. Karuga into my hand. There we go. Next turn, we should be able to play Karuga. Yes. I think this is a solid choice. I think it is, like, because th this creature has to attack us ten times to kill us. So I don't think it is a supreme threat. No, well, now there are two of them, but, I mean, one or two, it's kind of, eh. I mean, it'll happen anyway, I guess. I don't know, that's not the greatest reason. Um... Okay, what did they mill? Another Lyra? Gisela. Wow. Okay. Alright. So they hit us for three, that's fine. I'm gonna grab Steam Vents on the end step. Steam Vents stepped. There we go. This is so. Man! Not good. Not good at all. Not what we want. Because, you know, we, we just want to have fun with our friendly hippo. We just, you know, that's all we want to do. Okay. Uh oh, I'm lagging really bad now. Woo! Alright, Karuga. The big blubber. She is here to vanquish our enemies. I honestly think if I don't get the consign to Oblivion next turn, I am just going to Throws of Chaos, kill one of the Renegade Reapers. Or the angel thing that's coming. Yep, there's ah. Uh... Yeah, I know how good Lyra Dawnbringer is because of how much standard I used to play. She is a supreme being. So we definitely, definitely don't like that at all. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Okay, and it adds color to this. Good, good, good. Just gonna play this. No reason not to. Uh, just... Huh? I think I'm lagging again. Okay, here we go. Throws of Chaos. Does that kill her? Yes, it does. Whew! Consigned to It's a little bittersweet, I know. But now we have Calibrated Blast in the, in the graveyard. So if we get another one... I mean, if we get another uh, Consigned to Oblivion, we should be able to defeat our opponents. Actually, never... Actually, no. We'll take, it'll take more than just one. That's the problem. That Lyra Dawnbringer lifelink has really messed us up. Okay, Elisa, that's a nasty card to fight against. Flying in lifelink. I think 
it is probably time to throw in the towel, unfortunately. I think this is, like, this lifelink is just going to kill us. Um, we can try to calibrate a blast again, but I'm, I'm thinking this is getting very grim. Um, the main thing is if we can... Okay, there's consigned to oblivion. Um, but it doesn't kill them. That's the problem. Yeah, it doesn't kill them. It will leave them potentially at nine life which is grim very grim they'll just replay the ley line one two three four five six i mean to actually play any of our big cards it's gonna be tough and i guess i sort of let's see did i did i board out in dotha triumph let's see I did not board out in Dalton Triumph, okay. Anyway, so I think I'm going to swing with my creature. Yeah, unfortunately we can't do 19 in one go. I, th I think we have to kill this Lisa, honestly. Which is really sad, but... That lifelink is going to destroy us. So here we go. Blowing up Lisa. Throws of Chaos. That is only 4 damage. That is not enough. We're just going to have to... Oh no... That's, oh, that's not good. That's not good. You know what? Let's make him do it, right? Let's make him cast it again. That's really sad. Ugh. I wanted to destroy Lisa, but I couldn't. Ugh, how unfortunate. Um, let's see, though. 18. No, still not good enough. That is bad. Wait, uh, they are returning her to the battlefield? Uh, this is over. Yeah, this is over, unfortunately, my friends. Oh, man. What a bummer. That ley line of sanctity really hosed us. What a bummer. Yeah, that ley line was terrible for us. I think maybe we want Blastone back just as another out to it. And we're going to just get rid of another, um... I think actually Radiant Fountain's probably fine to board out. There we go. So yeah. We, we have one more out, and yes, I have just realized Sign of Draco is only two mana as long as we have Steam Vents plus in... No, actually, yes, yes, yes. Because that's all five land types. So if we have all five land types, we can cast Scion for two as another backup plan, which is really good. Um, yeah, I don't like this. It doesn't have the combo. It does have Consigned to Oblivion. And I'm looking this. Um, ah, this is tough. I think I'm just going to keep it and pray they don't have Leyline. I think they have Leyline. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Autothon Worm. Actually, wait. What am I doing? Yes. Yes. Autothon Worm. It's fine. Don't have Leyline, please. They let us be on the play. That's right. No, wait, no. I took the play. I need a... Ugh. Yeah. And I think it's fine to take the play, even though we have Gemstone Caverns, because it makes our mulligans... <sighs> oh, that's so bad. No! That is... Okay. So now our plan is to just throw... Uh, no. Sign of Draco, basically. But they have angels in their deck. It's honestly the weirdness of their deck that is messing us up here. Like, it truly is. 
And now we don't even get to do our sign of Draco. That, that, man. I'm sorry, but that is like the luckiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, fantastic. So we can at least, if we get another sign of Draco, we can do what we need to do. And the sad thing is that Leyline of Sanctity isn't even used in any of the meta decks. If we were against a normal meta deck, I think we'd actually have more of a chance. Okay. So that's what they're going to do. I'm just going to hold this up. I'm not going to open myself up to a Vindicate. Um, this does nothing. So, I mean, it just does one to her. It doesn't do anything else. So I'm just going to do that. I guess we're going to just Throws of Chaos to kill something. Maybe not immediately, but eventually. Resplendent Marshal, okay. So Youthful Valkyrie gets boosted. Okay. All right, that's fine. We don't, oh, man, I'm so sad. We don't really have anything to do other than just throws. What? That's awful, it can only target players. I thought it also hit creatures. Um, just a mountain. Wait, no, 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 I don't. I don't wanna be doing this right now because then they can kill the Indolfa Triumph which is going to kill any chance we have of winning. Um, man. This is not a good situation to be in at all. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I will do something next turn, though. Because the reason why is because I don't want to hurt myself a bunch just to Throws of Chaos. And I also want to use the Arid Mesa to fetch a Indotha Trium. Okay, that kind of solves our problem, so here we go. Oh no! Uh, it's a Legendary? No! Okay, that's fine. We got another fetch land. We can still do the plan. Yeah, we can still do... Yes, we can still do the plan. Yes, so we're fine. We're fine. Whew, that almost was very bad. Why is it legendary? It doesn't, it certainly doesn't feel legendary. And oh, this entire time I thought, oh, double, uh, double gemstone caverns. But no, 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 it's, it's, it's legendary. I, I'm, I'm being a goofster. Throws of Chaos has been revealed. Do I kill this thing or do I kill this thing? This thing grows, but this thing is already grown. I think I'm just going to take out this. Just gonna take out this. We can flash it back next turn. Uh, wait. Okay, he doesn't have any other creatures. That's good. Okay, that's fine. Well, their deck is neat, I suppose. It's like an Orzhov Angel deck. But it is definitely a standard deck that we're fighting against, basically. Um, I don't know if it is worth it to flashback calibrated to kill the Valkyrie right now. I think there are far worse threats in their deck. Also, I should be putting Karuga into my hand. There. And I have two calibrated. No. I can retrace this. Okay. That... Gives me a lot more hope. Not gonna lie. That gives me a lot more hope. I thought we were totally hosed, but no, I think we're maybe okay. So, yeah, I think we're maybe fine. Although we are taking such a beating from all this stuff, it really isn't great. I might have been able to do Karuga or something a turn before or something, but this game plan is really rough. Like, I don't... I feel kind of sad about it, basically. Um, okay, Radiant Fountain. Okay, so I don't think I want to play Karuga right now. So I think I'm just going to Radiant Fountain. 
And then I'm going to flash back the Calibrated Blasts who killed the Youthful Valkyrie, and I'm going to pay the cost for Esper Sentinel. Yes, 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 yes. Boom. I'll pay. Pay the cost, yes. Reveal everything. Calibrated Blast again. Uh... That's really unfortunate. I'm just gonna kill the Esper Sentinel. Because that was only three damage, not enough to kill the Youthful Valkyrie. We have Cascaded into Throws of Chaos. I mean, we not Cascaded. Um, we have Calibrated Blasted, a Throws of Chaos, and Calibrated Blast. Really not great luck at all. Hopefully we can get four damage with this Throws of Chaos, so here we go. Um, yeah. <laughs> Discard Sun Scorch Desert because it smacks us in the face for no reason. I mean, because we don't have legal tar targets other than our face. Here we go. Cast the Calibrated Blast. Reveal stuff. What is the stuff? Consigns the Oblivion. Okay, good. Goodbye. Good. Very good. And now we have another Calibrated Blast in the yard, which is really nice. Um, I'm gonna play this, and now we're gonna pass. Hopefully they don't have any more creatures to throw at us. I'm going to play Karuga now, next. Ooh, is this Lyra? Please no. Please no. Please no. Oh, maybe I- no, 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 no. I needed to kill the angel because she was attacking us in the air. Yeah, I was about to feel dumb about it, but I, I I think that was the correct play to make. They have double ley lines, so we are completely dependent on killing their creatures and using Scion of Draco to whittle them down. We have three Scion of Draco left in the deck. Uh, what is this? Oh, no. <clears throat> Man. They really went crazy with their angels, huh? So I'm gonna get in Dothatrium. I, d I know, I know it will expose us to Vindicate, and it's not going to be nice. And this has flying. Ugh. Yikes. Alright, let's Calibrated Blast again. Uh, please, let's Calibrated Blast again. <gasps> we have Blast Zone. We have Blast Zone. But we're going to die to this thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have time to Blast Zone anymore. Consigned Oblivion, good. Dead. Did I play a land? Okay, whoo! Alright, Blast Zone, our savior. As long as they don't have a Vindicate. And I know it exposes it to Vindicate, but what else are we gonna do, my friends? We need to get the clock running soon or they're gonna clock us. And we already have two Calibrated Blasts out of our deck. We need to um, really do things in a timely manner. Alright, oh, it's Lyra. Ah, oh, it's Lyra. I knew it. Not good. Done with that. And we need to kill Lyra now. It's just too many things to deal with at once. Especially since we're at three health, three life. And they're just gonna keep bringing back... They're just gonna keep bringing back that thing. Oh, uh, okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, one, two, three, four. I know I'm doing Throws of Chaos to delete the Lyra Dawnbringer. At least, hopefully. I really hope we can. Okay, here we go. Sign Oblivion? Perfect. That card? It's been really helping us this game, even though it's in a more unconventional manner. Okay. I think three life versus two life, it just does not matter. We we really need to... I'm just going to shock in this steam vents. Because we're dead anyway. This will make it possible for us to win the game. Yes. Yes, this will make it possible for us to win the game. One, two, three. We will have enough. We will have enough to flashback a Calibrated Blast. 
or just do a Throws of Chaos. So, and I believe this Berserker, is this Berserker 5 mana? I think it is. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, so we can keep playing this game of footsies with them forever, but I we have to go for it. We have to try to win the game. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have enough to do everything, so we're just going to put two counters on this. All right, there we go. There we go. Last zone. Here we go. So we're just going to blow up those lane lines and then go crazy. Oh no! That's what we needed. I should put a... I should put a stop in my upkeep. Or my... A stop in my... Um, a, a stop on my draw step. Or upkeep. Yeah, I should, I should actually have that. Okay. Let's flash back and try to win the game now. Please. Yes! We win! Woo! That was so difficult. I knew we could just keep playing footsies or try to win. And yes, that is exactly what we needed. Thank you. All right. Whew, what, a, what a nail biter. What an absolute nail biter. Down to one life. Down to the wire. All right. See you next game, everyone. All right, everybody. Round four of our modern league with the Calibrated Blast deck. Ooh, this hand is making me want to go to heck, so I'm going to mulligan it. This is much better. It is not Drek, so I'm going to keep it. All right, I'm going to stop doing that because I know that that's going to annoy someone. Uh, we're going to keep this. We're going to get rid of the Emrakul. And now we have the little side plan with the sign of Draco. Um, so we are going to just go ahead and hit the ground running with a Mishra's Factory immediately and pass the turn. Next turn, we're going to do Sunscorched Sun Desert, activate Mishra's Swing for two, um, assuming they don't have any interaction up and... Uh, just keep on rolling, I suppose. That previous game, by the way, I realized that... Oh! Excellent! Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Oh, they can't get rid of anything. So it's very good that this Throws of Chaos is Throws of Chaos and not Calibrated Blast. I'm gonna say hello. I like doing this when people thought sees or inquisition me, and it's like not a very good <laughs> choice. I think it's pretty funny. All right, here we go. So upkeep, draw, all right. I'm going to get rid of the one on my upkeep because yes, I realized that last game, um, it wasn't necessarily going to happen that um, the um. The Autothon Worm would have been top decked. I mean, I guess there was more of a chance of it getting top decked, so maybe yes, uh, that was the correct play. But also, just. Um, it could have. I could have drawn into a Throws of Chaos, or a Calibrated Blast, too. Or a Consigned to Oblivion. I think. I don't know how many times I cascaded into this, that game. Uh, I guess. The play with the hot, the best chance of not getting screwed over was the one to make, and I didn't real, I did not really com uh, correctly calculate this, so, yeah. I'm guessing they're going to smallpox or something, but that would be very. Oh, okay. I'll discard an artifact. I'll just discard. Actually, uh, two cards, no. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just, I think I'm going to discard Sign of Draco. I don't think that we're going to get away with it in this game, because this looks like a pox deck to me, and they are going to have plenty of creature removal, like, more than you can shake a stick at. Like, it's, it's going to be ridiculous, so, oi. <laughs> I don't like it when that happens. Um, Alright, Steam Vents Tapped, I think, is the thing that we want to do. And another good free swing with Mistress Factory. If we didn't... No, 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 it wouldn't be true, because we have to Cascade. So, actually, 
Mm, how does it work, right? It cascades and it goes to the bottom. Yeah, it wouldn't have made a difference anyway whether we drew it or not. Okay, there we go. We attack. And now we get to Throws of Chaos, unless they blow up our land. I just realized maybe I should have played the Forgotten Cave instead. But I don't think they're going to blow up our land. I think we're going to be fine. So we're going to... No! Uh, stop! What, what? Why? Look at this. Look at this, my friends. This is ridiculous. Okay. <sighs> Whatever. Let, let's just... Let's cascade into another one, shall we? <laughs> Honestly. All right. Or Emmercool now, because they are now at 15 health, which is very good. We did exactly enough damage to make that also an option. So here we go. Cast without paying the mana cost. And... What's it going to be? Huh? Hello? Scion of Draco. Well, they only have three health left, at least. And we can retrace this. Which is absolutely insane. <laughs> Honestly, that is actually completely ridiculous that we can retrace it. Um, I played... Did I play a land this game? Yes, uh, yes I did. I played a Scavenger Grounds. Yeah, can't play that. Okay, no problemo. See, I'm just gonna retrace Throws of Chaos and then they're dead. Um... What? Huh? What? What? What, what? Are you seeing this? This is fascinating. They might just concede for being embarrassed now, or maybe not. I'm pretty sure what they meant to do is make a potato creature. Oh, they're, they're doing it again. But maybe they meant to do it this time. Um, but I don't... Why? Why? Oh, to get a... No, that doesn't make any... That doesn't do anything. Oh, no. <laughs> they just concede. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They just... I mean, that that did not make any sense at all. Um, Nefalia. Yes. These. And I think that is it. Um, it is not... I've never seen Pox... I've never, ever, ever, ever seen Pox use Leyline of Saints. See, I know some pox lists use Karn, but that's usually in Legacy. So I'm pretty sure we should be fine with just these. And if, you know, if we're not, we also have Blast Zone, which saved us in fabulous fashion last game. Uh, I was just perfectly able to get this right on the right time um, that we needed it. Anyway, so three Nefalias, and I think we just ditched the Boseju and some other stuff. They're going to let us go, um, no, we're going to go second, probably. I don't know. It's so weird to think about, you know? <laughs> it's really weird. I think the Radiant Fountains are not super duper, so I'm going to get rid of two of them, and that will be it. Just three cards. Simple. Simple as that. And hopefully we get to win, and it will be very fun and great. That first deck we were against, the Rhino thing, that was very interesting. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to find that deck, because... That was pretty cool, honestly, like, like, Rhino version 2 or something, like, with maybe five colors. It's pretty interesting. So we do have Nefalia, but we don't have anything else, so we don't care, and we're gonna mulligan. That's what we're gonna do. Ho oh, ho! Yeah! I'm gonna keep this, and we are going to put down the Emrakul. Yes. And then we're going to use one of the Scions to activate Gemstone. Yes. We could also use the Arid Mesa, but I kind of dislike... Oh. Hmm. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the Scion, because we have Domain in two turns. Yeah, we have Domain. If they thought Seize are Calibrated Blast, or Inquisition are Calibrated Blast... We still can Scion them, which is really nice. Yep, there goes this calibrated blast, but we're we're okay. They're, I don't think they're gonna I don't think they're gonna expect the Scion Draco, and um, I think that they might have boarded out all of their uh, creature removal. I think they might just have some like threats now or something and disruption like duress. So I think that we should be good. Come on, it's only one choice that you have. Thank you. Uh, 
Hello, let's go. And the great thing about this, this is so ridiculous. We can still flash it back. Oh, I just top decked it. I really don't like that. I really do not like that because we can't protect it with the fetch mechanism. So I'm going to play Erin Mesa instead. And then next turn we will be able to do this anyway, right? Let's see. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I, I, I can fetch Steam Vents, yes. I have two Steam Vents in this deck. So two less is five, two. Yeah, so this coming in tapped on turn three is fine. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fetch the Steam Vents on the end step and we'll be ready to go. Although, if they do wrench mine, that is really going to be a problem. Yeah, really hope they don't do that. Uh, oh, that really sucks. But, at least it's not getting... No! Why? Uh, there goes our scion, I guess. Well, um, do I want to fetch? I think I will. I think I will. Why not? Let's just get a steam vent stacked. Okay. I'm just going to put Karuga in hand. I'm gonna fetch a mountain with this. Because we already have steam vents, we don't have to worry. Um, the only thing that sucks though is if we uh, we get wrenched minded. It'd be pretty sh it'd be pretty bad. Oh, that thought sees. Dang. Ugh. But you know. We saw it coming, right? What else would they do? They're not using fail push. They're not using any edicts or anything anymore. They're just doing this stuff now. I'd imagine they have Liliana in their deck as well. What are they doing? They're just waiting. Hmm. I don't like that. And the good thing is, even if we lose this game, we still have next game, so we can still clutch it. Alright. I'm starting to think that this deck wants more Blast Zones, too. Because Blast Zones are really good. And is a great universal answer to problem permanence that usually you don't really have. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my Indotha Triome. If we top deck a calibrated blast of ah stupid, okay uh this is so painful. I'm gonna get rid of steam vents. I have to sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice my mountain. They didn't exile the calibrated blast, but I guess they don't need to. Do I take damage? Yeah, I do. Okay, uh, I kind of feel like doing this now. I know Karuga's a plan, but... I think that this gets us running. And they have zero cards in hand too, I just realized, so we actually might be in business. Thankfully, there's no Dark Rituals in this format, so they can't do something like, ha ha! Oh, wow. Three swamps. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, they can't do like, haha, I activate my Nihil Saw. Well, um, Dark Ritual, Liliana, they can't do something silly like that. So I think I'm just going to play this in Dotha. And now I'm going to activate Mishra's with this, just like that. I'm going to swing at them for two. And now our outs are both Autothon Worm plus Emrakul. <sighs> Unless they decide to nihil spell bomb right now for a fatal push or something. Eh, I think they are. Yep, here we go. Please, 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 just be something else useless. Please, 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 don't be anything good. Oh boy. Okay. Whew. 
I mean, I think that Pox is a deck where you have so many removal spells that you actually can't really get rid of all of them. So I think there are going to be a few left. Oh, that's fine. Discard Autothon Worm. Let's get a land. Let's drop Karuga, please. I think dropping Karuga is more important. Oh. Dude, seriously? Okay, well, our plan is just Mishra's Factory now. Or Calibrated Blast. Depends what happens. Oh, we could actually do both. Yeah, we could do both. Scavenger Grounds. Um, okay, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, the rack is hitting us for three all the time. But they're just going to Raven's Crime us anyway. Oh, my clock is slower, right? I really don't like it. Actually, wait, hold on. I can just scavenger ground sack it to get rid of this Raven's Crime. Yeah, th yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna sack it to get rid of the Raven's Crime. Even though I, I kind of dislike it because it does get us down to land, but. Sacrifice the desert, yep. I don't want to give them that out, or that... Oh, I guess I didn't have to do that, did I? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, now they can't keep my hand size to one no matter what. Until they get another Raven's Crime plus land. So let's get a Calibrated Blast and end this... Okay. I'm going to keep this in my hand, I think. Because they're out racing us right now. And if I can make them use something just to discard me, like a Thought Seize or something, then that's even better. You know? I know it does one damage, but I don't I really don't think it's worth it right now. Alright. This is very, very auspicious right now. We only take two now, which is good. And if we get calibrated blast, we most likely win the game. So we're going to go ahead 2-2 two, two this. Yeah, Calibrated Blast is definitely most likely going to win us the game. They're only drawing one card each turn, yeah. This is not a control deck, or I guess a traditional control deck, so we should be able to make it. Oh, Blast Sound, that's fantastic. Right on the schedule. Although I will need three to do it, but I think it's fine. We're only taking one from the rack at least. Shoot, please don't be what I think this is. Okay, sweet. That's just useless. Yeah, this is really good for us. Now, I guess I can't activate that Blast Zone until I actually get another land. But I think the rack is of minimum um, lethality right now. I don't think we're too afraid. We win. We most likely win. Um, so let's see here. First, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do Throws of Chaos first, tapping everything but Mishra's Factory. Okay, here we go. Yep, cast the Calibrated Blast. There we go. Take that. Ah, Calibrated Blast, that's not good. Um... I think I'm going to hold these cards, and we're just going to do it again next turn. I could attack with Mishra's Factory, you reduce them to one. The probability of them being able to not... I mean, I don't know what I'm saying, honestly. Uh, I guess if they did double rack... Okay, that's not great. Let's get rid of this, that's fine. Oh, I guess... Would I have had lethal this turn? Well, I'll have lethal this turn. 
close of chaos this should almost completely kill them like for sure here we go autothon worm good night sleep tight alrighty awesome 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 was that game two we had a game one right yeah fantastic absolutely fantastic i'm so happy we are now three and one in this modern league can we do a four one with the throws of chaos calibrated blast deck of doom find out in our final round <laughs> All right, everyone, we are in our fifth and final round of our Modern League with the Throws of Chaos deck, or rather, Calibrated Blast Throws of Chaos deck. We are against someone with a very fancy avatar, but it is in Vintage, so maybe they are really bad at Modern. We will see what happens. All right, oh, this hand is not good. We're going to mulligan that. This hand is kind of cool with the factories, but we don't want to win like that. They seem to be on a Yorian something. Okay, Calibrated Blast. There we go. That's all we needed. Keep five. Put two on the bottom. Let's put Onathon and Emrakul, since, as I have learned, Sign of Dracono is actually so much playable. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and play him next turn. <laughs> Why not? Let's, let's make our opponents believe that we are a Sign of Draco domain aggro deck, shall we? Maybe they're also playing the weird five-color rhino thing. Four, I think it was four-color. I don't think it was... Uh, I don't think it had black in it. Okay, so this might be Niv to Light. So I think this is a really good matchup for us because it's more of a tap-out kind of control deck. Uh, the the upside is that, yeah, they're tap-out control deck. Whoa! We are definitely going to win now. Hell yeah. There you go. You are in my domain. And pass, and the next turn we do a calibrated blast, and then everything's going so fast, and then we win. Fantastic. Yeah, the main issue with Niv to Light is that they have the ultimate toolbox. They can do something like Unmoored Ego, Slaufter Games, or some other weird stuff to get rid of all our calibrated blasts and put a big frowny face on our faces. So hopefully don't they don't do that. But this is probably the best the best hand and start that we've had this entire league so ah well that's fine i don't care about that <laughs> hey they didn't get rid of our red source they don't know how important red is to us they see oh this is so good they think that we're domain aggro but we're oh ooh, i messed up big time no wait no i didn't i didn't have the mana for that okay no problem so first we're gonna attack and will they have force of negation in their deck I don't think they will, but I'm going to do it on their upkeep just in case, because who knows? I don't think they have counterspell either. Maybe they do. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. I have no idea what they're playing. Is it going to be Force of Negation or is it going to be counterspell? Ugh, I don't know. Well, let's make them, let's make them tap out on their turn, potentially, shall we? I think that's a reasonable thing to do. So here we go. Calibrated Blast. Cool. Right in the face. Let's go. Oh, it, 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 it. oh it's Autothon. Ooh, ooh. Automatic win. Automatic win. Bam. Yeah. Woo. This is amazing. All right. So they're definitely on some kind of Niv to Light thing. Yeah. So I th that deck does have some... Um, discardy things they do like to discard you um they also like teferi and i can't blame them i love teferi he's very powerful um so we need to do something about that so i think i think hmm, we st but i'm still assuming that they're niv to light i'm pretty like i am 99 percent after seeing the abundant growth and the yorian i am 99 percent that they are teferi or um well teferi and niv mizzet here but maybe not. I. It's really tough to say. It's really tough to say. I. I'm going to go with. 
So I think Radiant Fountain is pretty safe to board out. These sorts of decks do board and discard sometimes, but I think I'm just going to get rid of four Radiant Fountains for four Consigned to Oblivions. And then next, uh, next turn, uh, next uh, game, if there is a next game, we'll be informed about what they decided to do. And from there, we'll have an even better board. So I'm pretty sure it's Niftalite. They might have discarding stuff, but I think a bigger concern of mine is just uh, El Teferi, you know? Like, he is pretty beefy against us because he stops throws of chaos. So that's what we're going to do. Here we go. So they take the play. Um, our hand is very... It has throws of chaos, um, but that is weak to Teferi, as I've said before. We have Boseju, but we're not trying to... I mean, I'm pretty sure they're not a control, like a uh, leave your mana up style control deck. Uh, mm, I think we might just have to just do it like this. They had spreading seas in their deck. I think they actually are control. Yeah, I think they actually are. So I think I'm going to keep this. Um, it is a little dicey. It, it is a little dicey and it's not so nice, but I'm going to keep it and hopefully we get a nice land next that can help us out. Oh, they just played that in pass. Okay. Um, this is not bad. Um, it is a little bad, but it is not the worst. Uh, I feel like this Indotha Trium is going to get spreading seized again. And while that isn't the end of the world, I would like to put this person in our domain. Um... So what, what else, then? I think I'm going to play the Forgotten Cave Tapped. The reason why is because they might think that we are Despacito for red sources, and thinking this, they will use Spreading Seas on it. And if they do that, then that actually gets us do closer to the main, because that will be an island. Ooh, this is really good. I mean, it's not it's not really good, but it's it's better than... Uh, usual, I suppose. So, let's let's see what we can do here. Well, I guess if it's a fetch, oh, no oh boy, no. <coughs> We're gonna pass. Ooh, I don't like how soft this hand is to fairy, honestly. But I already mulled to five, and I have the card. I have Rogan Triumph. Oh, Ketria Triumph. Oh. Uh. Uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my bones. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Okay. I guess it isn't a fairy. Okay. Um, I'm going to play both Seiju. Oh, no. I'm just going to play Calibrated Blast on their upkeep. Yes. I'm going to play Calibrated Blast on their upkeep. And either way, they have Counterspell mana up, so it doesn't really matter. I guess if they don't run Counterspell... If they don't run a counter spell, it would be force of negation. But if it's force of negation, they'd be able to do it either way. And I'd rather them waste an entire turn doing it than just, you know, going, ah, oh, I throw away this card that I don't care about anyway. So let's do it. Let's calibrate our blasts. Boom. Please don't tap anything. Don't, 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 don't. <gasps> Is it going to happen? Is it going to work? They're thinking really hard. Oh! Consigned to oblivion. You are in oblivion. Alright. Next turn, if we get another untapped land, I think I'm going to go for the Throws of Chaos. Even though it's kind of... Mm, because, you know, we want to... We want to protect it with Boseju, but I think waiting a turn, giving a control deck, especially like Greed Town control like this, giving a Greed Town control deck like this, Another turn is just... Like, that is... I think that is super dicey. We don't want to do that. We want to... We want to clown on them, basically. Whew. Good thing the chance of us getting an untapped land is really high, thanks to this deck's ridiculous land count. This deck is actually quite good. Like, I thought it was kind of like a silly kind of meme thing when I looked at it, but... No, this actually is kind of... Insane. Oh, ooh, all tapped lands. Ooh, not good. We can play Scion of Draco, I believe. No, actually, one, two, three, four. No, we can't. 
I'm gonna play both Seiju just on the chance that they are a leave your mana up control deck rather than a normal control deck or a bit rather than tap out rather sorry um I don't know if I want to cycle the forgot like cycling this deck is really weird because you don't want to draw so many eternal witness fascinating hmm okay you have witnessed the eternals go ahead I think Oh, it's a land. They can just play the land, and they're doing it for a reason. And the reason is the season. Uh, I don't know. I'm not cycling this Forgotten Cave. I am not. I'm just going to go... Oh, we have Boseju. This can't be countered. <gasps> we win? No, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, here we go now. Here we go. All right. Pay, 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 pay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Oh, but this isn't cast with the Boseju mana, so it's not. Ah, oh, but it can. Uh, our memes can be dreams, right? Our memes can be dreams. Here we go. Oh, boy. Maybe they will make a mistake and think that this is protected by Boseju. Ooh. This was still the correct move to make. I stand by it. We, the, uh, the alternative would have been Scion of Draco. That thing is never getting through Niv to, uh, Niv to Light. That thing is never getting through uh, Niv Mizzet. I think they have a counter spell of some sort. Yep, that's one blue. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. But next turn we have an uncounterable Calibrated Blast flashbacked from the graveyard. So even if they're able to counter this, we will be able to be victorious next turn. Yep. I I knew there was e it was either Force Negation or Counterspell. Not both, but one of them. So I can play Blast Zone and Pass, I suppose. I could also play the Indotha Triumph. I think... I don't want to expose this. I'm just going to play the Forgotten Cave. And I'm going to put a stop on my upkeep. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're going to not even draw our next card. Although, no, even Con Consigned to Oblivion does it. So, yeah, we're not even going to draw our next card. We're just going to hope that it is either Emrakul or the other dude and go ham. And it will work because it's just literally the Calibrated Blast. Oh, God. Well, what is this? Omnath. Oh, no. They can heal themselves now. That is... Ooh, please no, please no, please no healing, please no healing. Oh my god. What is this? What is this? Okay, Fem Fem. Uh, did they play a land? Oh no, they didn't play land. No! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Man! R ridiculous. Come on, man. Let me win for once. Good lord. Okay. Okay, they didn't do the mana thing. I thought they were going to do Niv to Light. Whew, that would have been bad news bears, let me tell you. All right, here we go. We're flashing back this Calibrated Blast. We are going to kill them right here. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing it. Cyanid Draco or Auto Thonworm doesn't even matter. Emrakul, you are destroyed. Yeah! That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, baby. Woo! Unless they have... Please do not have Blossoming Calm randomly in your deck. Please do not. And you have 80 cards. The chance of it being drawn is very low. Please do not. <gasps> Please do not. Oh, I win! Yeah! Oh my god, that is insane. Oh my god, that was so terrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, well. That was the first time I've ever 4 one on this game. Um... I, as you've seen, my luck can be pretty terrible at times, and I, I, I know I, I punt and stuff too. I punt and stuff too, but I do believe that you know. I think I just need to play more, and maybe I will be able to four one. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to four one again. I am very serious at this game. Do I want to open these or sell them? Let's open them as celebration. Here we go, and I even get my play points back with a little extra change so well f anyway first let's let's celebrate let's do our celebration 
Bum, 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 bum. All right, here we go. Five of these. Amazing. Truly amazing. Here we go. So here's one and ooh. Uh, no. <laughs> but I mean, that's cool, I guess. Life gain EDH. Life gain EDH. All right, number two. Number two, number two. Here we go, here we go. Deity of Scars. And a Goblin Kaboomist. Uh, I'm kind of sad now. He might have been able to go 5-0 if I didn't screw up in that first game. Ugh. But it's okay, it's okay. There'll be other times. Ooh, the Book of Vile Darkness. Oh yeah. And a Scour Glass to scour our hourglasses. So that's three... Um, four supplant form or supplanting our forms now. We're just little shapeshifter dudes like this dude in the picture. We have shapeshifted our deck into a winning, a winning strategy. And I didn't even board in those Boseju's, and I sh probably should have. Hey, this is Penny Dreadful legal. Maybe this is an omen to play Penny Dreadful. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy that little mini uh, booster box opening. And so, coming back to the deck, this worked out really, really well. I've never played this deck before, this league. Um, it is extremely consistent and resilient. Uh, the main thing that is its weakness is Lean Line of Sanctity, but we have Blast Zone to deal with it. I think that we want more Blast Zone in this deck, actually, but I'm not sure what I would replace for it. Maybe Scavenger Grounds, maybe Radiant Fountain. I think Scavenger Grounds is probably the weakest overall, but it is randomly very useful against the Luris decks. But I guess our opponent getting value isn't too bad. I think, yeah, I think the Nefali Academies really hose those decks pretty well anyway. So, yes, so Blast Zone was incredibly clutch in that match. And <clears throat> we see that, you know, yeah, I, I realized that the second part of this card's text way later, Retrace, that makes this awesome. This is freaking incredible. You can just play it over and over again until they die. That is amazing. And the flashback, I didn't even see the flashback. This is a legitimate modern strategy. You just, you know, you just go YOLO and, and they're dead. And the sign of Draco, I was thinking, why doesn't this have Blink Moth Infusion? Because it is like 15 mana or 18 mana or something crazy like that. But it's because you can actually cast the sign of Draco. You know, you can actually cast him. Um, and that's amazing. As we saw in that one game, swinging for four and then doing the blast... Uh, against that last person, right? Yes, we swung for four, did the blast, and then we won. It was like, bam! Like, we needed that four damage. So, overall, I think it's pretty dang good. And all of the cards inside were like, this, this shooting them for seven is still gonna, like, that is just, like, like I said at the beginning of the video, you just need two punches to win, usually. And this, this is enough of a punch. You just do that, and then a scion, or... That and plus an Emrakul, usually it's enough, you know? Um, because of the fetching and the shocking and all the other stuff that opponent's trying to do, usually... I mean, I, honestly, the Mono Black deck, they had a huge advantage because they didn't have any uh, fetch lands or shock lands. They just had Mono Black, you know, just swamps, Urborg, etc. Uh, we had to work a little more against them because of that. With the Mishra's, the Mishra's Factory, which really, really helped us a whole lot. It was very fantastic. Uh... This is absolutely essential to the deck. And the Gemstone Caverns is also really, really good. Like, just getting that uh, extra speed in, like, it's, it's it's really, really, really effective at just boosting you. And uh, just getting the opponent off guard, you know, it makes it so that even on the draw, you have three mana when they have two, so you can, on their upkeep, as I should have done, you know, the Calibrated Blast on their upkeep. And then... You know they can't force a negation it which is much more popular than counterspell you know um but yeah so anyway uh this has been very fun very cool i said i've made an insult uh like this will take less skill to play than burn no it has its own weird finicky stuff going on it had like and to play it fully optimally you need to think about what you have already seen in your deck right like remember the casting of the calibrated blast before the draw step is it worth it, right? Maybe we draw into a Throws of Chaos, and it was good that we didn't do it. You know, but it's more likely that we draw one of these four copies, right? So, I think 
in many cases it is the correct play and in many other cases it isn't it's just like on a play by play kind of basis you know that's a lot of play there's a lot of play to this deck you know the Karuga, it, it she came in handy she really did and yeah i mean i don't know what else to say it's very cool not a meme i would say not a meme um pretty good and i don't know what I would do to make it better really i think i would have to run some numbers and like calculations but yeah overall i think it's already in a very good place we would usually flip the the big boys although you know because of my luck you know we drew this guy twice in a row once that was pretty fun um but you know overall uh, besides the, dr the the dead draw potential and uh, dead calibration potential here um, I think the deck, it just works really, really well, and it's just awesome, and I highly, highly recommend playing it. Highly recommend it. Anyway, um, I've been LambdaMan93, bringing to you another Magic Online Society Modern League. If you want your deck to be played by me in one of these Modern Leagues, subscribe to our Patreon down in the description. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.